I'm James Williams with Discovery News. This is my brother. He's going to run his uh, truck on the fryer oil from this restaurant. That is correct. It takes a conversion kit and you have to add another tank. But in, in simple terms, we're going to use our used grease from the fryers that normally you pay someone to dispose of and, uh, and use it to run my truck. It's a uh, 1995 Chevrolet Suburban with a 6.5 liter turbo diesel engine. It cost $170 <laughs> to fill this tank up. Did it really? Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to go up to uh, Elkton, Maryland to RC Auto and he's got the conversion kit waiting that was shipped from Grease Car and we're going to install it and start using vegetable oil. The diesel engine doesn't have to do anything different to run vegetable oil. If you get 10 miles to the gallon on your diesel, you're gonna get 10 miles to the gallon on your vegetable oil. The way the grease car system works is that we add a second tank and filter to the existing vehicle's fuel system. You'd start the vehicle on diesel and begin your drive. As the vehicle warms up, it circulates coolant through a couple of heat exchangers on the filter and then the fuel lines and in the tank and allows the vegetable oil to heat up as well. Once the vehicle reaches its normal operating temperature of about 180 degrees or so, you're able to flip a switch or push a button and it'll allow those solenoid valves to turn the diesel off and turn the vegetable oil on. This is your new gas tank, right? Yeah. Your, your new filling station? Right there. It's about 40 gallons, maybe 45 gallons. Already filtered, I let it sit for two weeks. Then I filtered it to 10 microns. It's heated up and it's gonna come into here and this is a, uh, I think it's a one or two micron filter in here. And there is gas. French fries. So we're, we're full. I haven't found a difference in performance, power, any of that. It's, I really can't tell the difference when it's running on diesel or when it's running on vegetable oil. Well, John, thanks for uh, letting us come along for the ride. My pleasure. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.